A fifth squad. A fifth squad. It's about learning, and you can do Te Reo Māori and financial literacy on there. It's a game where you, you have quests. You speak into the thing, and it like says if you say it right, like the Māori word or the English word. The avatar and being able to use their reward. I think the reward system works. So there is that game aspect of it. If I set up a squad, they logged in so I could see all their progress on the board and put it up so they could see it as well and that was kind of quite a cool incentive for them to see where they were and where other students were as well. I did it actually with the kids. Put it up on the screen and you do it together. So we chose our squad name. Yeah, that was Yeah, fun. that so was. Look back and see who yeah. was sitting. Yeah. Be like, oh my God. It goes up to 50 and we only got to do the first three. Uh, so it's, I'm excited to try out all the rest. You know, it's not, it wasn't hard to, even for us, you know, when I was having a play on it first, I thought, wow, kids can do this. This is, this is not hard and this is engaging. It was engaging for me and I'm not a, I don't go on and play computer no, games or any kind of gaming. It's, it's not something I've ever really been interested in, but I was so interested in that. It's a really nice, easy to use program. It starts off um, quite low levels and then it goes up super high. Obviously there's 50 levels. Financial literacy is a really big thing that we want to look into. Um, and I've seen on your presentation here that you do look at that. We wanted our year three, fours, fives and sixes to have access to, so that's why there's, we've signed them all out. You've got those kids that they love it and it works for them. You've got those kids that digital is not their favourite. Um, I really like how this offers the flexibility. Then they can easily do the paper version and you can just broadcast the video up the front so they have access to that. We use the big screen to pop the, um, the first quest up and then we just went through it as a, as a group, as a smaller group. Again, the flexibility to do it with however many people individual, group, massive groups, groups two, um, yeah, and gives more time for me to run around the class and see what the kids are doing. Having the mixture of multiple choice plus the mixture of actually you have to type it in and then there were the other ones I saw where they have to drag and drop, you know, the different kind of variety which just means for those kids that rush through and do your multiple choice, bam, 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 it means they have to think a bit deeper perhaps. <laughs> for some of them multi-choice is confusing and then, and then others where they drag and drop, they're more tactile so they can work with that sort of thing. So I think having a range of different assessment tasks is, is great. And like that will remind me of the lesson that I did and then I'll remember where that's, um, what the picture on the coin is about. I like how each quest is like a different category but it, the first couple were all about money. They're like completely different. One of my favourite things was the Te Reo language what Piketea in brackets picture is on the uka coin. Really authentic, not through a we're sitting down for a Te lesson, but just part of the learning, so that was really awesome. Um, yeah, loved, it. loved that part of it, yeah. The Kiwi context. That was what, it was like, oh my goodness, here is a marae, here is someone who looks Māori on the screen. This is New Zealand, unique. That, I think, mm. is, is something that you don't, you won't see anywhere else. We have 300 students who would just absolutely lap up those kind of resources that are in Te Reo Māori. They focus on um, kaupapa around culture and heritage. When we first looked at this, for me it was that listening to that pronunciation of that Te Reo language. Pronounce these after me, Te Nā The teachers who don't have the confidence to uh, teach just the basics of Te Reo. That was what captivated me, but also for the kids in there. It's a real driver for the kids to try and pronounce today correctly because they're saying it and they're waiting to get those stars and then if they don't, like, ah, oh, come mm. back and like, get another go and get it right. Mm. Uh, which is a, it's a really cool incentive to, to want to actually pronounce. Um, Māori correctly. Heaps of people love this for today because so many people don't teach it because they're not confident in themselves. It's awesome to have something that's like, you know what, actually here it is, you know, you can do it. <laughs> I liked how you could like change the avatar. It's like you like get excited when you earn a certain amount of stars and you could like get certain things and like level up and stuff. I really like Farms or like houses 
and him and clothes your avatar. Yeah, I like um, how there was like a video, um, like when you first open the financial literacy, I think about like the future and stuff. When they first saw the avatar selection, <laughs> I don't know what your kids do, but I'm like, <laughs> and the kids connect because they're pretty cool, they're young and hip. Listen planning. Yeah. Well, I guess the system's done the lesson plan yeah. for you. Yeah. Is that a good or bad thing? Or? Good. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Most uh, teachers would just be happy for something that they don't have to plan. Great. Well, I can see in the other day, this aligns with the curriculum level two. And yeah, I mean, you've got comprehension there, you've got today, you've got financial yeah. literacy, maths, everything. It's nice having them all in one place. Awesome. <laughs> I love what you've shown this at this conference, you learn. That's Excellent resource, excellent resource. The kids would really love to get their hands on this resource and have a play around. The whole idea of having the little lessons in there, that's that flipped classroom learning model of actually being able to, if I don't get it the first time, I can revisit it, I can watch it again. I had fun, I learnt, the kids learnt. So, yeah, that's, that's what I want. And that, that's what captured us, was it was, it was New Zealand. It was what we want, it's us. It's not coming from somewhere else because we can get anything from anywhere else. AFED Limited killed us.